Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. We are continuing through Legends of Grimrock. Grimrock Mountain. I think it's Grimrock Mountain. Would make sense. And I am trying to figure out how to progress. I'm looking for a hidden switch. Actually, I think I knew how to progress. I just wanted to see if there was a hidden switch. You just place a torch. Secret! A quite good helmet, actually. Unfortunately, I do not have specialization in heavy armor, so it's butchering my evasion. And at the time, I and I still don't know, is a 10 armor worth a sacrifice of like 8 evasion because I don't have enough points in armor to equip heavy armor? I don't know. Okay, this next area takes me quite a while to figure out, unfortunately. But first, we must kill a snail. This, of the puzzles I have done, this one took me the longest, and I feel incredibly stupid. And I'll skip through a lot of the backtracking and whatever. The snails seem to have way more life than other snails. Die. Finally. I'm seeing how long it's going to be for my mage to actually be useful. He needs to level up before I can actually cast any of the spells I have. So, this area. I see locked cells. I see vines. I'm looking for a switch right now. Why can't I open this door? It's looking everywhere for a potential switch. I see more cells. I see shiny things. And yet another cell with no way to open it, and a door that I need a key to open. So, it's going to take me a while to figure out what I actually have to do. I'm going to search for switches for several minutes, but rather than be watching that, we'll just skip ahead. Here we go. I actually had found the armor in this room previously. Clicked through the bars and found the armor, but I didn't notice... Wait for it. Oh! There's the key there, too. I picked up armor through those bars, but didn't notice there was a key. So I felt quite dumb. Because this took me a long time to realize, unfortunately, but... I is dumb. We've established that in previous episodes, so that's done. What's funny is it takes me this long to just figure out the puzzle, but I figure out the secret immediately. Wait for it. I see a switch. Well, I saw it. I guess I didn't see it right then. Yep. Switch and secret found. <clears throat> Immediately. Get some arrows, poison arrows, at that. Granted, I have no bow, so that's rather useless for me. Hopefully will be useful later. Don't know if you can actually retrieve arrows. I've yet to find a crossbow. <clears throat> or a... Bow. This is another pretty standard, easy to figure out puzzle. Two switches, what to do. Ah. And they both need to be compressed. Progress! Yay! Took a while. And a new enemy type! A bird or a bat or something. Not really terribly difficult. I, they do swoop in on you. And they move quickly. That's the main thing, is they move quick. But... Pretty easy to just... Joust and move backwards. I'm stuck in a corner now. Or no, I'm not. Wonder why I didn't move. There we go. Keep missing, unfortunately. 90 experience that thing was worth. I don't know, I mean, they're not, they're fast, but they don't really do a lot of damage. And they, they swoop on you, but they don't have an area, an area of effect attack or anything. Granted, I've never faced any in very large numbers. I imagine they could pretty easily overwhelm you if that was the case. So I see a blue crystal thing, so I know that that is the end of the level. I see this puzzle, no weapons allowed inside. It takes me a while to figure it out. I'll actually come back to it later. We are approaching the hardest combat that I have experienced yet in Legends of Grimrock. A couple of difficult sequences. That took a couple of attempts. So I see that... I'm looking for a key. 
And I didn't really figure out how to do this quite yet. Wasn't used to the mechanic. Now... And I hear birdies. I hear them. I see a dark passageway. So I'm just going to kind of slowly move forward. I see a teleportation field. That's where those big sparkly things are. Teleportation field. So, we have a room. I see a plate that can be compressed. I hear things. But I see nothing. Let's read this. Enter thy grave. You will die. I hear snails. So, you will die. Well, I'm definitely going to save. Notice how I have many saves. And it is time. Here the thing behind me is closed. And I hear a thing opening. Oh no! One of these guys... Well, one of these guys isn't a big deal. I have a huge room to maneuver. Shouldn't be anything too problematic. Uh-oh. We got two of them! And I am already trapped in a corner. Two of them without being able to move that, that is going to be a challenge. And there's in fact a third one. <laughs> unfortunate. Most unfortunate. So, one guy goes, I'm going to quick load in just a second. This is going to take some strategery, for certain and true. And I thought that I had saved sooner than I actually had, but no. So, we will try this again. This is going to take a few attempts to figure out exactly how to do it. It's doable. It is doable. Yeah, and here I was trying to see, wait, can I just compress the thing? Without being in the room or something? I didn't know exactly, do I even want to be in here? Is there a point of going in here? Do I need to go in here to progress? This is an optional area. Nope. <laughs> so, I am going to realize that... I need to commit. So here we go. And all I can think is, well, I guess I need to just burst one down. Or I need to try to not get trapped in a corner and just to kite all of them. Or, and this is what I actually wind up settling on, facing them one at a time and a choke point. And these guys, I mean, they hit pretty frequently, but they get staggered when you hit them enough. So I feel like this was going to be doable at the time. There goes one. And I was trying to heal myself, because this thing says that it can heal you. But, apparently not. And that's actually a reagent for use with a potion, is what that was. You can't eat them raw or anything. I'm trying to eat food to heal myself. No, it doesn't work that way. No. Nope. Most unfortunate. So, this clearly isn't going to happen. So I'm going to quick load and try it again. But, that strategy does seem to be solid. If I didn't waste so much time attempting to use things that can't be used or whatever. This game really made me want to play the Elder Scrolls for some reason. Just very reminiscent of Oblivion and Skyrim. I realized that was random, but that just came to my mind. So, I'm gonna try this again. I feel like this can work. I should have definitely, in retrospect, given my mage the spear and just let my rogue throw stones or something. Would have done damage faster. So here comes another one. If I can just get it down to one guy, I can kite the last one without having to be right next to him. Also, if guys die, I, I realize it's not going to be the end of the world because there is a stone, there is a blue stone right in the next room. So I won't have to go long with having dead allies. Though I would prefer to just do it without so I could just rest afterwards and 
not have to worry about it. So there goes one. There's one left. I'm actually going to save because I managed to do it without losing anybody. There's one left, and again, I should be able to pretty easily kite these guys. They're this last guy, rather. I was also looking to see, do I even need to kill him in this room? Or can I just open the port cullis and leave? As you can see, when there's just one, they're pretty dumb. They move slow, very easy to run past. Unfortunately, my torch is running out. This is an incredibly rewarding room if you can pull it off, though. This was on hard. I mentioned that in a previous episode. This is all, you know, this is all on hard. Of course. If you've watched my other stuff, you know that I always just play on the hardest difficulty. That's why I didn't show anything in Diablo 3 until I was on Inferno, because I just don't want to commentate non-max difficulty stuff, basically. So, managed to do it without losing anybody. I thought I actually lost some people. I'm putting it all, all that stuff on one guy, though. I'm realizing, oh wait, he's totally encumbered. Can't do that. So not only do you get a bunch of spears and shields, which, in and of themselves, that's a big reward. Also, a lot of experience. And, there are some goodies in each of these chambers that the guy spawned out of, which will be helpful. So, very rewarding room if you can pull it off. I don't know if this room was mandatory. I think you do get a key here, so I think it was. I got a bone necklace. I have no idea what that was actually for. It doesn't actually do anything. I got a spell scroll. I think it's like a level 3 spell as well. And I think I already picked up what was in here when I ran in here or something. Or maybe there was nothing in here to begin with. It made me sad. It's like, where are my goodies? I was also kind of looking to see if there were any switches that I could compress. And there we go. That room is done. That was a tough one. Alright, guys. I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please sub if you want to see more Legends of Grimrock. And leave comments and feedback. And I'll get back to you. Ask questions. Have a good one.